These are world-renowned plant scientists. They all happen to be under one roof here collaborating together. And so for any company that's working in the plant science and agricultural space, there is a value proposition to collaborating with our scientists. It's the ultimate value proposition for the Innovation Incubator Program to the companies is to gain access to our scientific teams. There are two sites where those research projects are conducted. One is at the National Renewable Energies Laboratory in Golden, Colorado. That's where all of the clean tech, clean energy, smart buildings research um, takes place. But then all of the ag tech and plant science research is conducted here. It's funded by the Wells Fargo Foundation, so that's where all of the funding comes from. Each cohort selects five companies a year. So we get five new companies coming into the Danforth Plant Science Center every year to do research projects in collaboration with our scientific teams. Each one of those companies receives $250,000 of non-dilutive funding from the Wells Fargo Foundation. For us here at the Danforth Plant Science Center, this is cohort number four. It's competitive. There are St. Louis teams that get selected. The reason we have companies from St. Louis is it's a good illustration of density of plant science expertise that is here and also the success of our regional innovation ecosystem, specifically in this ag tech space. Peptide Bio, we're really excited to work with them. That company was formed around discoveries that were made by two of our scientists here at the Danforth Plant Science Center. We have been uh, working on these peptides uh, in my lab for the last 20 years. And uh, we found that these peptides have significant potential to kill harmful and fungal pathogens which attack various crops. There's actually a strategic raw material in sunflower that plant is producing natural rubber. So what we're trying to do is look at the genetic links between rubber yield and different varieties of sunflower. It's a huge win, it's a gold star for our ag tech ecosystem through this program. I think that this program was very fortunately the brainchild of some very progressive forward-thinking people at the Wells Fargo Foundation um, and on the business unit side at Wells Fargo who were interested in making impact investments in the clean tech, clean energy space. They were interested in finding a way that they could substantially move the needle on major issues like climate change and food security. One of the real value propositions to the Innovation Incubator Program is that all of the funding is non-dilutive. And that primarily supports and is intended to support a research collaboration. So 200,000 of that 250,000 passes through the research institution so that we can provide access to our expertise. We have the best plant scientists in the world all under one roof. I always like to say that as a member of the innovation team here at the Danforth Plant Science Center, I'm always looking for creative ways that we can leverage our unique resources in support of the regional economy. Innovation Incubator is a great example of one of those mechanisms that we use to make sure that all of the boundary pushing scientific work that's being done here at the Danforth Plant Science Center is impacting the market in real time.